You know, I was all alone, waiting for the answer to something I already knew the answer to. I was nervous, worried, and most of all, frightened. Frightened because I was only 21 years old and I still had a lot to learn and a lot to live. I didn't need a complication like this right now in my life. What do I tell my parents? What do I tell my friends? Is this a secret to keep to myself? And is this a decision to be making all by myself? Most abortions are a spontaneous decision. You go to the clinic to find out if you're pregnant and you just go through the motions and processes. No time to really think about what you're going to do and how it will affect your life. I went back to the waiting room and as I was sitting there, a lot of commotion is going on through my mind. I was becoming distant from reality, becoming someone I thought I would never become. And most of all, I was becoming numb. The person who I thought I was was no longer there. And now I have to identify myself. Who am I? What have I become? Have I become a murderer? Have I done the unforgivable? I went into such a deep depression and I was really living life recklessly. I had no family and friends. They wanted nothing to do with me because I was so self-destructive. And I really felt I had lost everything and had nothing to live for. I just wanted to die. And I was very moved by the priest there. And I went over to him and I was just crying. And I whispered to him that I was a murderer. And he said, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to picture somebody walking up to you. I want you to picture that person holding something. That's Jesus and he's holding your baby. I want you to take your baby from him and I want you to hold your baby to your heart. That was the first time I had ever felt forgiveness, true forgiveness from God. Other women who've experienced the same things that I have and have the same feelings, we are there for one another and that's how the healing begins. I felt so alone and so ashamed and I no longer had the will to live. Without Project Rachel, I don't know where I would be right now. I have returned to the church and I do witnesses and you know share it on this interview to help continue my healing journey, but also to help others begin their journey.